Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'd like to show you some new products today from the uh, Summer Celebration Catalog as well as our 2022 Holiday Catalog. Um, this card features the Trees for Sale. Now the Trees for Sale is a stamp set that you can find in the Holiday Catalog on page 39. Really cute stamp set. But what makes it even cuter are the dies that you can get for free in the summer celebration catalog. So the dies are free with a hundred dollar purchase and the dies have so much to offer. Um, they not only cut out the stamps in the stamp set, but there's all these cute little accessories, including this vintage camper that I'm gonna show you today. Another product that I'm using from Celebration is our Gold and Silver Designer Series Paper. Um, also another free item, that one is free with a $50 purchase. Those products are only available in July and August 2022. Okay, well let's get started. We're gonna do our stamping first. We're gonna stamp our trees. And I've got a piece of basic white. And I'm gonna use Garden Green. And we're gonna do uh, a stamping technique called Stamping Off. You're going to ink up your trees, and I'm using the largest and the second largest, the middle size tree. We're going to stamp it off on our grid paper and then stamp it on our basic white paper. That gives you a lighter shade of green for the solid image. And then I'm going to take the inside image and stamp that in full strength ink. That way you have two different shades of garden green. Just stamp that right in the middle. All right, so now we've got that. We're gonna cut that out. While we have our grid paper here, why don't we go ahead and stamp our sentiment as well. So very merry, I love the font. We're gonna stamp it in real red on the right side of just a strip of basic white. We'll set that aside. Now we've got a lot of die cutting to do. And we're gonna cut out, let's see, where are our dies? We're gonna cut out the trailer, and that's gonna come uh, out of our pool party, okay? Here are the tree dies for the two trees that we stamped. We're gonna cut out also this tiny little, let's see, where is it? Right here, this little curtain. See how tiny that is? We're gonna cut that from white. We're gonna cut out the um, banner right here, the bow, and the uh, wreath. And before we cut those out, I'm going to take adhesive sheets and put that on the back of those smaller pieces. That's going to make that easier to um, adhere when we get to that point in our card. All right, so I'm going to put adhesive sheets on the back. And then I'm just gonna cut them out of this adhesive sheet so that basically they'll have sticker, um, sticker backing. All right, so let's just cut all that off, that excess adhesive that we don't need. There we go. So we'll do our bow and our banner from the Real Red. And I'm gonna trim off this extra adhesive so it doesn't stick to our machine. There we go. And we'll take our wreath and adhere to that. All right, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And we'll get as many of these things lined up as we can. Let's start with the bigger piece here. Um, we're also gonna cut out some pieces of the camper. I forgot that. Let me get these on here. And this one right here are the textured pieces, the top and the bottom of our camper. And we want those on there too, because that's what really makes this camper so, so cute. Now this is a Christmas stamp set, but that camper and these, these trees, I mean, all of it really could be used all year long for summer camping projects would be really cute. All right, I think we can get all of this lined up on here and cut it all at once. All right, carefully lay that down and run it through. Now, make sure you get your, your dies back in the right place. You don't wanna lose those dies. 
I am guilty of throwing away dies myself, which is very upsetting. Okay, I think we've got it all cut out. Sometimes when your dies, hold on to that paper, just use your take your pick tool. They have little holes in them that help you punch these little things out like that. And I could see that our little curtain, the little tiny curtain that stuck to the die too. Okay. Now let's start putting our camper together. We've got these two pieces right here, these textured pieces. And I'm just going to use Tombow. This probably would have been good to, to put the adhesive backing on as well. But we'll go ahead and use Tombow. It's not quite as tiny as the, the other, the banner. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit of adhesive here and a little bit here, here, and here. Now the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to put vellum behind those windows. And I'm going to take my little curtain and put it right there on the edge. Let's get it right in the right place. And then I've just got a little strip of vellum and we're going to set that down. We may need to trim it off some. Okay. So take your scissors, if yours is too long like mine is, and just cut around like that. All right, now we've got our banner, and I'm going to hopefully get that adhesive backing off with my take your pick tool. There we go. Take your pick tool is like a surgeon's tool for a crafter. It's really helpful. All right, we'll put that across there. Again, we've got a little bit of adhesive on the back of this. There we go. The little wreath is adorable. Put that around the window. And then we've got our bow. And again, we'll pull off that adhesive sheet like that. And we'll put that bow right there. Now there is your camper. So stinking cute. All right, our card is ready to assemble now that we've got all the little pieces made. I'm gonna take my piece of silver designer series paper. It's got the little dots I thought kind of looked like snow. I'm gonna adhere that to a smoky slate mat. Now, if you're looking for the measurements and the complete supply list for these, make sure you click the link here on YouTube and hop over to my blog. I've got a free PDF and three other trees for sale uh, projects for you. All right, now this little guy, we're gonna put him on with some dimensionals and we need to strategically place them so that you won't see them through the window. Okay, we'll put that right there. And then we'll take our trees and we'll put dimensionals on them as well. Slide that back there like that. And this one can go a little bit down like that. All right, now last but not least, we'll add a bow and I've got pool party ribbon party sheer ribbon and we'll just adjust that snip off those ends grab your mini glue dots and you could use your take your pick tool here to make it a little bit easier like that okay Last but not least, let's put it on our card base. I'm gonna use dimensionals here as well. One, two, three, and four. And there you have it. An adorable, adorable Christmas card. 
All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, pop back over to my blog, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.